Dr. Smith, could you flip to your slide number five? The debate has highlighted the value of Medicaid. Sure. Uh, when you say studies show that Medicaid, I mean, I'm assuming when you say that, make that statement, that's a good random sample of independent studies and that a majority of those studies show that? Is that what that's telling me? Yes, it does. And uh, actually, uh, if I, uh, you know, if we had time, I could bring a whole further set of slides that kind of illustrates this. There are a number of studies that talk about uh, the difference that Medicaid makes in the lives of those that are served. Uh, probably the most uh, significant recent study was one that was done in Oregon. Uh, uh, Oregon, if, if I can just take a moment to share this to kind of elaborate on this. Uh, Oregon, back in 2008, the legislature decided to expand the program. And they had enough money to serve 10,000 Oregonians. And so they authorized an expansion of Medicaid for childless adults, for adults, um, and funded 10,000. And then they had an open enrollment period. And 90,000 people applied. And so instead of enrolling people on first time for a serve basis, they had a lottery, literally random selection of individuals who would be served. Now, the researchers saw this and said, hold oh, count. There has never in the history of healthcare been an opportunity to see the impact of having coverage versus not having coverage. And so uh, uh, with the cooperation of the state of Oregon, these researchers have been examining these data in detail. And there was a, a, a first year uh, study that, came, that was published in the New England Journal of Medicine um, in September, uh, now almost two years ago, which outlined very specifically the impacts of this. And basically what it said was that those who um, had coverage compared to those who did not, and so again, it's a perfectly matched uh, grant, it's the gold standard for research. Um, <laughs> those that had coverage compared to those who did not uh, were more likely to get care that was medically needed. Uh, they were more likely to have a medical home uh, they were more likely to uh, see a doctor and to get prescription drugs. Uh, they were more likely to also go to the emergency room. A lot of people don't go to the ER because they know what the financial consequences are. They were much more financially secure. They were, uh, uh, I forgot the exact percentage, significantly in a statistical sense, less likely to file for bankruptcy to have uh, unpaid medical bills they were 25% more likely to, in terms of self-reporting of health status, to regard themselves as in good or excellent health, and uh, much more likely to be screened for depression and have fewer behavioral health issues. So that's one study. Uh, there was an update to the study that was published about two, maybe three months ago, and this got a lot of attention because what it said was that those that had Medicaid coverage weren't different from others uh, in terms of a, a number of, of their health care characteristics. But what it also said was they weren't different from people who had Blue Cross or other commercial insurance. So uh, uh, this also showed that they were, uh, uh, the second year, two year study now, uh, also confirms that earlier studies in terms of health status and uh, uh, financial security. Um, and, and access to medical care. So, that's just a 